Hi, I'm Emily Dreyfus. And I'm Kareem Levy. And you're watching Rumor Has It, the show where we round up the week's biggest tech rumors. And then we vote on what sounds legit and what seems like it'll never happen. And you guys can vote with us. Look out for the poll in the interactive player if you're watching on CNET. First up, The Daily cites two anonymous sources within Facebook saying that the social network is on the verge of creating a new classifieds listing technique, which would let you put ads on specific friends' news feeds. Facebook would charge a fee for some types of ads. The advantage of using this over something like Craigslist is that this is specific to people you know or their friends, so that if your company is hiring or you need a roommate, it might be worth paying for. When reached for comment, a Facebook rep told CNET that Facebook is not working on a product like the one you described. Of course, that doesn't mean anything. I think that this is a smart move for Facebook, using word of mouth, essentially, that targets news feeds for specific friends. I find it icky. It suddenly puts us on the same level as those get thin in two weeks ads or the beard beanie. Next, it seems that Apple might be taking a page out of Google's book. The Wall Street Journal reports that Apple quietly started a program that gives some of the company's employees two weeks to work on projects that aren't part of their job. It's supposedly codenamed Blue Sky. This goes against Apple's image as a company with a top-down management structure. Side projects suggest the move toward a culture that would foster independent projects that could make their way into larger products, just like Google's program, which gave us Gmail and Google Reader. In a follow-up report, the journal noted that Blue Sky may not be a long-term thing, adding that it was tied to Scott Forstall, awkward, Apple's former senior vice president of software who recently left the company. Hold on to something steady. Because this next rumor is going to rock your world, if you're into the over-the-top, super-hyped Apple rumor kind of thing. A Chinese news site is reporting that Apple will drop three brand spanking new products in the first half of next year. And not something boring and inconsequential like a new Airport Express. No, the site claims we'll see a new iPhone, a new iPad, and something called the iTV. China Times says it has spoken with industry sources, and though that sounds sketchy, China Times was right about the timetable for the iPhone 5. But don't get too excited. The new iPhone it's speaking of is not the iPhone 6. It's the iPhone 5S, Ugh. <laughs> which means that it'll probably be the exact same thing, plus Siri will now sing or, I don't know, dance. <laughs> Something. Obviously, the exciting part of this rumor is about the iTV, but that's also the most vague. A couple things it could be. It could be a simple update to Apple TV, or the set-tops DVR cable box we talked about a few months ago, or it could be the most majestic tech unicorn of them all, an Apple television set, with iTunes and AirPlay built in, which we've been hearing rumors about for a year. Who knows? As for the iPhone 5S, I'm going to say that it being tested next year is possible, but I wouldn't think that Apple would release it until the fall when iPhone 4S people will be out of their two-year contracts. Right, because the iPhone 4S was announced in October 2011, and that came nearly a year and a half after the iPhone 4. Apple would totally disrupt its own product schedule if this were true, and people were pretty upset when it did that with the iPad 4, so I would think they'd be loath to repeat it. Or wait, who am I kidding? Apple never learns its lessons and really doesn't care what we think. And what do you guys think most importantly? Is the iPhone 5S coming to us in the first half of next year? And what about a new iPad? And what do you think an iTV could be? Don't forget to vote and leave us a comment on the Rumor Has It blog. We asked the CNET Council about the iPhone 5S release. The CNET Council is composed of five editors who cast their votes anonymously. Their opinions are not an endorsement by CNET or CBS Interactive. Obviously because these are rumors, folks. And the CNET verdict is? A unanimous no. We got four no's and one hell no. They do not think the iPhone 5S is coming out early next year. That's our show, everybody. Please share your rumors at rumorhasit at cnet.com or call us at 1-800-750-CNET and tweet us. And tune in next week for more tech rumors.